Well, another record day for the Dow, but barely. How long will the streak survive? Let's bring in today's market panel to weigh in. Jared Levy of uh, ProfitableTrading.com and John Petridis of uh, Point View Wealth Management. Well, John, we got a lot of concerns. Uh, sometimes markets climb these walls of concerns, but you have international problems with Turkey, et cetera. Uh, you got domestic concerns, and you have uh, worries about the earnings not coming up to par. Uh, but the markets made another record today. Why? Well, I think fundamentals on the earnings side is actually what's helping push the market higher, particularly last week, uh, the other day with the banks, uh, J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, Bank of America, you know, the bank earnings, which has been a big trouble uh, sector for the S&P 500, has come in better than expectations. So it's for good reasons. It's not for, sometimes the market climbs for bad reasons, this time for good reasons. Jerry, do you agree? Uh, not so much. So 55 companies have reported roughly in the S&P. Uh, we're seeing a negative 5.4% earnings growth. But the caveat here is, yeah, it's not as bad. So like all those banks nice. which are calling good, all their revenues or earnings are lower. But we're like, oh, it's not as bad as it we thought. Yeah. Uh, it, it, again, it's more of the same. Remember, dollars still funneling into the U.S. Right. Why? We're pretty much the best thing well, going and, and John, and that's probably going to be the thing. Then you have Netflix. I mean, that, right. that was a bit of a harbinger, wasn't it? Of sure. bad things to come. Well, Netflix, Netflix has two issues. One, the valuation is, is at historic highs, and that's coming off. And they're under competitive pressure from Amazon Prime and uh, Facebook Video and, and, and eyeballs being steered away. So uh, there's other ways to get your content than having to go through Netflix. Yeah. Jared, even though today was a record high in the Dow, you still get the sense that we're a little toppy, right? You have to. I mean, you know, David, you look back historically, and, and, and we're kind of in uncharted waters, right? You have PE multiples at records. You have growth negative. You have a, a sort of a swirling uh, pot of issues around the world. Um, but again, it, it just keeps coming back to this, and Morgan Stanley said it today. It, it, uh, the American economy, even though, you know, uh, estimates are coming down, it's the best thing going. The American stocks are the most, tr you know, transparent and, and, and okay. the best out there, the best of the worst. Yeah. Well, I mean, in spite of that, we're hearing no rate hike until 2018. That's according to Morgan Stanley's strategists who are forecasting lower than expected economic growth in 2017 due to a slowdown in consumer spending. John, I mean, how, how, does, how do you reconcile all of this? We're the best in a bad neighborhood, but 2018? Yeah, good luck trying to invest off of a 2018 Fed action. I mean, the Fed, there's a massive crisis of confidence in Janet Yellen and the Fed. It was only two, mo two, we two months ago where the Fed was talking about very positively where rates may be headed. We and then we had that weak June, uh, May jobs number and the Brexit vote. That threw everything off the table. So right now the market will only believe the Fed when they act. Jared, they see nothing until 2018, um, and as a result, they're bullish on equities. Do you agree with that? That, that sounds that, like more of the that's same. That's kind of a, yeah, kind of a crazy call, right? Again, right. I don't think you could plot out to 2018, um, but, but the key in that story was they said consumers are going to be weak. They dropped, their, their forecast for GDP growth is 35% less than consensus, and yet they're like, buy equities. So it's kind of like this like backwards mind messing me with kind of a deal. Uh, I, I don't think, it, I, I think 2018 is inaccurate. I do think we see some hikes before then, but it's going to be slow because remember, everybody else in the world's bringing their rates down and we still have that Brexit loom. Okay, guys, thank you.